Hey everyone, I'm Noreen Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel. Today, I was just uh, getting rid of some stuff, taking care of some stuff. And then GW's like, hey Alexis, how about some dragons? And I was like, wait, what? And then they're like, oh, BT dubs, Thousand Suns and uh, Grey Knights, both at once, in a box set together. Uh, okay, okay. So I have some thoughts about this, but also, I painted this little buddy yesterday. It's an Apothecary Terminator. I'm really happy with him. I think he came out fantastic. I'm not good at painting white, so I'm really, really, really happy with him. It's like, look at him. Look at him. I even got the white highlights. I'm really happy with this. Also, this time of year, like monsoon season here in Arizona, is like killing me. Also, this chair makes funny noises. But let's take a look at Warhammer Community's page really quickly and get into this. So let's put this over here. Boop. So first thing, uh, the dragons are back and they're gonna change the mortal realms forever. So last time the dragons came back to AOS or fantasy, they kind of destroyed it. They were one of the things that helped bring on the, um, the end times. So I am, I am interested in this. So we got dragons versus the giant horse people. I cannot remember his name. Karvar? Kragnos. That's his name. There it is. But um, these dragons look like they're straight out of Aragon. I'm not going to lie. That's what they look like. They have this massive underbite and kind of like this, this parrot-like beak. Um, and they look a bit silly. I'm not going to lie. They... they I've seen good dragon models and um yeah these are pretty pretty good like I like this one a lot better but that little beak in the front is throwing me off I don't know what it is but the beak is throwing me off I do like that there's two choices but they ultimately essentially just look like mirror images of each other like, it looks a bit lazy in my opinion yeah it looks like somebody just took the file and just reversed it to make the second one um, honestly, they don't look, they don't look bad. They just don't look that good. I feel like, um, Dungeons and Lasers did better dragons at 40k scale. I wish I could show you one right now. Actually, I can. Uh, if you watch one of my recent battle reports, you can see the five-headed Hydra from Dungeons and Lasers. And it just, it just looks better. So, I don't know. This dragon looks a bit silly in my opinion looks a bit too broad and too like weird. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a big fan of the dragons. I'll be honest. I think it's a little bit silly looking. Um, that profile picture. This is a profile picture of like a boomer who thinks they look good. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the thing that's actually important. The Hexfire Battle Box. I read this as pigs. Grey Knights might... Uh, might against Thousand Suns Sorcery. So this is actually pretty cool. Uh, you got this guy who's drawing his last pathetic card. And you got this dude who I really want to replace with a dual disc here. I want to give both these guys dual discs. I'm not going to lie. And you can actually do this using the... Um, if you buy... Uh, oh my god, what are they called? What are they called? Oh my god, this is going to drive me crazy. Hang on. This is going to drive me absolutely crazy. Um... One second, one second, one second. Where is it? Xenos Armies. It's the the normal Eldar. Where the hell the normal Eldar? Craft World. Craft Macaroni and Cheese Eldar. So you go to them. I wish this was just the default to view all. Where the hell are they? The Guardian Squad, right? But what is that thing called? There it is. There it is. You turn that into a dual disc. Right here. Also, how does nobody see that these are samurais? I, I don't get it. Everyone's like, Tao or the Weeb Army. And it's just like, these dudes practice the way of the Bushido, the way of the sword. They have all of the, uh, the Naginata. They have katanas. They shoot shurikens. They have ninjas. And it's just like, nope. Tao or the Weeb Army. Even though they're based off of like Mech Warrior. 
So, this model looks fantastic, but has a lot going on for it. But it still looks really good. I love the two little baby screamers. Or what are they? Yeah, these are screamers. Him and his demon weapon. And he looks pretty cool. They actually made a human face that doesn't look silly. But this box said, it's great value. It's going to be about $200. Um, and it's amazing value. Like, hands down, amazing value, I think. Let's see, 35 for him. And right, let's do the math for this. Once my computer decides to load. Uh, do they come to Space Marines? They do. Okay. Even though they're radically different than Space Marines. So, that's 60. I don't think it comes with a Paladin squad. No, it just comes with these three. Yeah, this is what the contents of the box is. So, two Strike Forces, one Grey Knight, Nemesis Baby Carrier, and one Dude Guy. So, right now, we're sitting at $35 for the character. Okay, then 60 for the Nemesis Baby Carrier. And then we have, what, two Strike Squads in there? The Strike Squads up here? No, you have to click View All. Which, again, should be its default. Like, hands down. So, these guys, which are 60 for 10. Okay. So we're at plus 60 already. So right now it's 155. That's pretty good for just that. Then we got the second part of the box set, which looks like it comes with 10 Zangors, one um, Zangor Enlightened, one Rubicon Squad, and him. So we already, we need to add 35 point, $35 for the character. Um, let's see, how much are Terminators? I think they're a good amount. Let's see. Doesn't sound. Oh, we don't want the one that has them both in it. Can we just go to T Suns? There we go. So we got Terminators, which are 60. We got a Zangor Enlightened, which is kind of weird that it's a Zangor Enlightened and not like Pink Horrors or something. Um. Where the hell is the Zangor Enlightened? I don't like that they're not here. I don't know how to spell Zangor. <laughs> okay, well, I know where they are, though. So we gotta go to AOS, and then find the rest of the Thousand Suns army. Chaos. Disciples of Zinch. Load. There we go. I do love this Birdman riding the disc. He just looks cool. So this is Angors, and you do get 10 of them already. So that's plus 44. And then one of these guys. So one of them would be the equivalent price of him. Would it? No, it would be... Is it just one? That's got to be like some kind of special character. Then. There he is. So yeah, he's 35 as well. So this box set is 330 which is saves you $130, which is really good. But it also has the old baby marines and the nemesis baby camera. The thing that bugs me is there's only two new models. And I'm kind of hoping that we get this tentacle terrain because I do love me some tentacles every now and then. Gives it the more chaos feeling. But yeah, this is... Like, this army is kind of all over the place, in my opinion. Like, the Terminators are cool, but I think I'd rather, like, bigger demons or a much scarier unit. Like, the Nemesis Baby Carrier seems like it's just a better... It's going to perform better than the Terminators. Although, if the Terminators go up to three, four wounds apiece, they might be better. The box art looks incredible. The codex art looks incredible for the Thousand Suns. Looks silly for that Space Marine who's like hanging his head out of his armor-ish kind of where it's like this. That that kind of irks me a little bit. Just the proportions of that kind of bug me. But overall, it's a really good armor on the front. I kind of wish they focused more on this guy right here because he looks a bit better. Uh, overall, is this box set worth it? I mean, yeah, if you have both these armies like I do, this box set is definitely worth it. But if you're just starting a Thousand Sun Army, 
it, it's it's okay. Zangors are kind of garbage. I hope they increase them to a four up save or something. Otherwise, they're completely useless. The Zangor Shaman is is also a model that's kind of weird in a weird spot. The Terminators are really good. And he's probably going to be really good. But you already have Armin and Meg, uh, and God, what, what the hell's Nibblehorn's name? Uh, Magnus. And for Grey Knights, you're just going to use this as your HQ. And I don't really think that's Crow, isn't it? I don't think Crow's even a good character, which is weird. It should have been Keldor Drago. I'll be, I'll be real. It should have been Keldor Drago. Um, I'm just glad it's not a box with Armin in it for like the thousandth time. So that's pretty good. And yeah, this is... Well, at least it looks better than this. <laughs> this looks silly. Um, overall, I, I do like the box set though. I am going to get it strictly for the Grey Knight side of it. Because I do need to up my Grey Knight count. Because I have uh, 10 strikes... A uh, ten-man strike squad. I have uh, two characters for it. I have Voldis and a librarian, and I have ten paladins. But it's like I've been putting them on the shelf because there's still only one wound models, and hopefully this increases their wound counts on both of them and doesn't just spit in their face like the Caradon book, where it just kind of looks at the thousand suns, looks at all of the chaos marines. And with one line could have fixed their entire army. But no, it just kind of went, here's some new rules that we copy pasted from Psychic Awakening. Hope you're happy with some new rules thrown in there. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know how I feel about it. So if this box is $200, you're saving $130. So it's, it's kind of good. Um, if it's $165, it would be a lot better. But I doubt it, considering the contents of the box. So I want you guys to tell me what you think. Um, show me, no, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think is a good start for a Grey Knight or a Thousand Sun army. Personally, I think this is a great start for Thousand Suns and a terrible start. A great start for the Grey Knights and a terrible start for the Thousand Suns. So tell me what you think in the comment section down below. As always, I'm Nurin Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.